introduction to Arnold 5 for 740. In this series of premium video tutorials in more than 10 hours, that's more than 600 minutes of video tutorials, we'll learn how to use Arnold 5 for Cinema 4D. If you have been following us at mogravplus.com, we have released our introduction to Arnold for Cinema 4D about two years ago and have been updating that course ever since. But after the release of Arnold 5 and all the new features and improvements that it brings, we decided to record a whole new course dedicated to Arnold 5. First, I show you where to find different Arnold tools and functions inside Cinema 4D and walk you through the general workflow to get your job done with Arnold inside. Cinema 4D. Sampling and ray depth are the most important principles that you should be familiar with when working with Arnold. That's why we discuss them comprehensively in 46 minutes and in 7 lessons. We make sure you comprehend the core principles before moving on to more general topics like lighting and shading. The next section of the course is dedicated to lighting. We'll learn about different lights in Arnold and different lighting techniques. We'll learn about area lights, spot, distant and point lights, mesh and photometric lights. We'll learn what are light filters and how to use them. Uh, what is physical sky and image based lighting. You'll learn how to approach interior lighting in Arnold for Cinema 4D and much more. We'll learn about the amazing volumetric effects in Arnold including atmosphere volume and fog. The lighting section of this course is about 1 hour and 35 minutes in 12 lessons. In the next section of the ultimate introduction to Arnold for Cinema 4D we start talking about Arnold shaders and nodes. First we get to know the Arnold shader network in depth, the environment where you develop your shaders and materials. Then we'll learn about the new standard surface shader which was introduced in Arnold 5 and is the main shader in Arnold and capable of producing and creating all sorts of shaders. We dedicated 9 videos in 2 hours to discuss standard surface shader thoroughly. Not only you'll learn the fundamentals of this shader but also how to create some realistic shaders and materials with it. Then we discover bump and displacement mapping in Arnold. We explore the new standard hair shader in a lot of details. This material lets you realistically create hair shaders. The standard hair is fantastic and definitely one of the best hair shaders out there. It is extremely easy to use and produces the most realistic results. Then we learn about layers and mix, flat, lambert, two-sided, color jitter, triplanar, ray switch, ambient occlusion, curvature, shadow mat, utility, substance shader, color and utility notes, math, conversion and shading state notes, and much more. Hopefully after watching this section you should be very comfortable developing complex shaders using this long list of shaders and notes. The shading section of this course is 4 hours and 40 minutes in 26 lessons. Then we see what Arnold has to offer when the time comes to cameras. We'll learn about different camera features and different camera types. We explore how to achieve effects like depth of field and motion blur. In about 30 minutes and in 4 lessons, you'll learn how to effectively control your camera when working with Arnold. In the section 6 of the course, we'll learn how to render our scenes in Arnold for Cinema 4D. First, we discover the powerful IPR or interactive preview renderer, which gives a real-time feedback of the changes you make in the scene. Then we take a look at Arnold Driver and how to export still frames and animations with Arnold. Then we dive deep into the subject of AOVs, what are the AOVs that Arnold offers and how to export and composite them in a compositing app like After Effects. Then we talk about custom AOVs and how to write them out. Next we take a look at per light AOVs and light groups and how to relight our scenes easily and effectively after the render. After that we discover different render settings in Arnold and take a look at texture settings and TX manager in Arnold. The rendering section of the course is about 1 hour and 30 minutes in 7 lessons. In the final section of the course, we take a closer look at Arnold parameters tag, Arnold procedurals, and how to deal with particles. And finally, we'll learn about Arnold volume. We'll learn how capable Arnold is in handling OpenVDB files and rendering them realistically. We show you all the steps you need to render OpenVDB files in Arnold and how to render amazing realistic fire, smoke, and explosion in Cinema 4D thanks to the new standard volume shader in Arnold 5. The final section of the course is 42 minutes in 4 lessons. We plan to keep this course alive and update the course with more video tutorials as soon as there is a new update from Solid Angle for Arnold for Cinema 4D. 
Over the past two years at MoGraphPlus.com, we have produced tons of Arnold tutorials and courses like our comprehensive introduction to Arnold for Cinema 4D, our developing realistic shaders in Arnold, and our comprehensive introduction to Arnold for 3ds Max. And now that we have Arnold 5 with all its amazing new features, let's take a closer look at one of the most popular render engines in the world and learn all about it. My name is Kamel Khezri from MoGraphPlus.com and I'm honored to be your instructor for this course. So sign in or sign up and let's get started.